Jackpot. Jackpot. I hit the jackpot. Jackpot. Good morning, guys. What is up? It's your girl Champ, and I'm back with another fabulous video. So today is a gym vlog. Say hi, Gizmo. Sorry, he's just like begging for attention right now, but I have so much to do today. As you guys know, I was sick for like a week. Yesterday I was shooting a movie. Okay, I told you I'll make things on the way. And I've just been really busy and certain like movie sets and different things you cannot vlog on. Um, depending on the quality of the production. The higher the quality, the more you cannot vlog on it. Um, so anyways, here I am. It is a gym day. I think I'm gonna do legs, but I haven't fully decided. I guess we'll decide when I get there. First, I'm gonna do a little running around. I need a new gym bag. So I'm gonna stop at a store really quick and see if they have one. Take you guys with me. If you guys want to cut straight to the part where I'm at the actual gym, I will post a timestamp here. So you can just go to there because I know how it is. Sometimes you just wanna see the gym moves and you, all the other stuff. But if you do wanna hang with me, I'm so excited, guys. It's gonna be quick. We're just gonna make a couple stops. Probably, hopefully just one, actually. Right, Gizmo? Look at him just baking. He just wants me to play with him. Look how spoiled. One toy, two toys. Three toys. Like, do you need all of those right now? Anyways, so yeah, if you guys are coming with me to get a new gym bag, um, let's go. Because my last one got stolen out of my car. Odd, huh? Anyways, yeah, we're going to get a new one. And then let me just show you really quick what pre-workout I'm using right now. This is not an ad. This is just the pre-workout that I like. My trainer kind of showed it to me. I think it's really good. It just, it's not like a crash. It's healthier for you. It's really good. So let me just show it to you really quick. And then let's get on our way. Before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you too can be a champion. You can get notified when I have a new video. Am I talking really fast? I feel like I am. I'm just trying to squeeze all this in. Let's get it. So this right here, Define 8. I got the um, snow cone. Oh my God, I thought it said 70 calories. I was like, I thought it was zero. No, this is um, 70 servings. Come on. There we go, 70 servings. Um, as you can see, these are all the benefits, but I'm not gonna go over them because like I said, this is not an actual ad. It's vegan, all that stuff. Um, does it even have calories? How much? Anyways, so yeah, this is what I'm using. Just put one scoop in a bottle, shake it up, and then I get going. Ooh, okay, you guys, so like I was telling you, this stuff that I was showing you as far as my pre-workout and stuff, that is not an ad. I just want to share with you guys what I'm actually doing, and the champions, that's my people if you guys are new, we are like a family unit, so I want you guys to feel free to, you know, share anything that you're trying, let me know if you've tried it. Um, I'm drinking it on the way to the gym, just because I feel like... It doesn't have a super big like kick to it. You'll feel energetic, but it, it's not like taking a C4 or something else like where you have a huge kick to it. Um, it's just very, it's not like taking other energy drinks where there's like you automatically feel like a sugar rush or something or a caffeine rush. Like this is a little more subtle, a little more natural. So I feel like it's a little bit easier on the body. But mentally, I feel like I work harder when I've already drank it versus being at the gym and feeling like, oh, I need to drink it, then I can work out. You see what I'm saying? It's all mental. So I just handle it first. I'm in the Target. I was gonna go to Nordstrom Rack because I just wanted a different bag, but I wanted to check out the ones by Blagalatis. You guys don't know her. I watch a lot of her YouTube stuff too. I really like her products, so I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and get the bag. It's cute, right? Got space, room I can put. Ah! There's a whole nother zipper on the bottom. I just know she designs her own stuff and she takes a lot of time to make them functional and work well. So we're gonna go with this. Boom. Check out her videos too. It's under Blogilates. She's a super cute girl. All right, guys. I'm about to go in now. So the music inside here is really loud, so you probably are not, I'm not gonna talk in this video. I'm just gonna demonstrate and then I'll do a voiceover after. So we'll see how that goes, but 
yeah this is just a gym vlog i'm gonna show you all the workouts i'm doing it's not like a workout with me vlog so if i were you guys i would get my notepads down and write down what i'm doing different things like that i'm just gonna show you some of my favorite workouts to do um it's definitely a leg day we're gonna, we gonna build that booty today and you know obviously some core because core is every day um but yeah time to go get it in so we in here starting off i'm gonna do some cardio but first i've got to wipe down my machines y'all know i was just sick and i'm not about to get sick again of course quick twerk break just kidding um i am so in love with two different cardios stair machine and now i never thought it but the treadmill doing it on an incline still helps you build your booty and tone the waist at the same time so it's great then of course you know i gotta stretch it out with the amount that i work out it's just so important to prevent any kind of injury and make sure that I feel my best every single day. When I'm too sore, I'll literally slow down my entire workout plan. So stretching really helps me prevent that. And just overall, I can push myself harder when I'm taking care of my muscles and preventing an injury. Plus, who doesn't like a girl who's flexible? So now it's time to really get into this booty workout in legs. This is one of my favorite workouts to target my glutes I just can really feel the burn with this I have to concentrate the entire time make sure that my knees are not going over my toes I'm keeping my weight in my heels I'm pulling my waist and booty back as I go down all of these different things I'm focusing on but when you do it all together you will feel the results and it feels amazing also just FYI I have sped this up um, in the editing process, so I was actually doing it a lot slower, and that way I can focus on my form. But I sped it up for your viewing purposes. Each workout that I do, I usually do about 20 reps and four sets. So depending on how much the weight is, this one particular right now, I think I might have did 15 only because this one just be killing my legs. Also, in real time, I did this workout a lot slower, focusing on my form, not letting my knees go over my toes and all that. Here we go. You guys have totally seen these before on my channel, leg extensions. I love these. It's just really important to work all the different parts of your legs because if one part is weak, it might overstress and cause you to have an injury later. The entire leg all works together as one, so you got to make sure you work out each muscle. And remember, guys, I sped this up in the editing process, so I was actually doing it a lot slower. Then we're going to go over here to this one. I used to hate doing these because I didn't like understand how to do them. You just got to make sure that you're pulling from the right muscle and you're only using that muscle, not the other muscles in your legs. Focus on contracting the muscle that you are targeting. Also with this one, it helps to keep your hips down. Four sets of 20. Ooh, y'all, that booty is literally growing. If y'all only knew how small it was in high school, anybody who knew me in high school, comment below, because I know you remember. Anyways, so this one is actually the real time speed that I did it in. I just wanted to tell you guys a couple more tips. Each time I do another set, I usually go up a little bit in the weight. That way I can challenge myself. So the last set will be the highest weight that I can do on that machine. All right, y'all, leg press time. But first, water break. I literally drink like three bottles of water every workout, like complete the bottles. So leg press is another one of my favorites. You really just want to make sure that your form is right once again, because if you're doing the wrong form, you're basically canceling out the whole workout that you're doing anyway. So you want to make sure that your legs are around shoulder width apart and you want to make sure that you're kind of putting your legs outwards 
as you're going down and making sure that your knees are not going over your toes. They should be in line with everything, but not over your toes. This is another one of the workouts where I go higher each set. Now, I know it's leg day, but I always like to throw a little something else in there just to give my body a break, um, especially with how hard I'm working my legs. So we're going to throw a little back in. I think it's also important to have a strong back and core because this allows you to stand up straighter, which will bring your stomach in and your booty out. It's all about the whole physique. You want to tie everything in together as one. Now we're going to hit those hip abductors. I like to do these. I used to do them first, but now I don't do them first. I do them as one of my last moves only because they can truly exhaust you. But I love the way they make my hips look and give me that womanly shape with those curves. Once again, I sped this up just a little bit. I like to do each actual workout slow when I'm doing them in real time because I can really focus and make sure that I'm putting my effort and thinking about what muscles I'm using and doing my form completely correct. Ooh, if you ain't tired like I am right now, you ain't doing it right. You got to push yourself. And guess what, guys? I've been working hard, so it's time for more water. Like I said, this particular bottle is bottle number three. About to hit the stair machine just to really tie this whole workout together. Y'all know I'll be watching my little shows on here. Um, helps me get through my workout. I even listen to my shows. A lot of people just listen to music. I'll be listening to whole shows. All right, y'all. Workout complete. I finally did it. Now it's the moment of truth. If you ain't sweating, you ain't working. So it's time to take my sweatband off. I really love it for cardio. I like it a lot more than a waist trainer. This particular sweatband is not one that I like recommend or anything, but it's what I have for now. Ooh, look at all that sweat, baby. Mm. Okay, that's going to turn into fineness, okay? Now to wrap up every workout, I'm going to end with some stretching. It's just really important because you've just worked your muscles really hard. You want to make sure that they remain loose. Nothing's too tight. Stretching combined with drinking a lot of water, eating the right foods at the right time, spacing your workouts out, giving yourself rest days or different body parts rest days will all work together towards helping you achieve your goals and having less injuries. Keeps us empty. One of the promises of God is that we Okay, y'all, let me turn down yesterday. Sarah Jakes Roberts for one second. What is her name? Sarah Jake Sarah Jakes Roberts. So I like to listen to the words. Sometimes even when I'm working out, if I'm like if I'm really not feeling really motivated, I'll put the word on. I feel like getting your body in shape is not enough. It has to be a full 360 within your life. Like I'm trying to align every single thing in my life right now. So I listen to that on the way home. But just really quick, before I get home, because it's almost my favorite time, time to eat. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, this daylight savings in LA is killing me. It's dark. What? Also, by the way, I got an emergency alert on my phone. All it has to do is rain a tiny bit in LA, and <laughs> life is in jeopardy. Like, I'm from St. Louis, baby. We be, we be driving through all types of stuff. We haven't flashed, it, it rained for an hour anyways getting into my car just a little another thing like i said it's 360 it's got to be your mind it's got to be your soul it's got to be your body your health everything i keep my little when i do use this and i don't necessarily recommend this brand i just this is what i got right now but when i do use this i like you guys saw i wash it off inside the gym and then i try to dry it and then it's not fully dry, but I like will leave it out in my car a little bit. It's been washed, so it's not like sweat's getting on my car, but I just don't want any mildew, nothing. We gotta keep that skin as clean as possible, especially because now I'm wearing a little bit more, you know, long sleeves and different stuff because I just, I'm really trying to protect my skin from the germs. You don't know, you might bathe well, you might clean well, you might even clean the machines well, but you don't know how clean everyone else is. Like, you really don't know, okay? So yeah. 
you trust yourself you don't have to trust other people clean the machines protect your skin protect your body as soon as I get home I'm washing my face I'm wiping down my shoulders so I don't have any back knee and you see I'm taking care of my equipment now let's go eat so I made it home first thing I did you guys know I washed my face I changed out of those pants because ladies you know we can have problems when there's too much wetness from sweat or other things on our clothes so I changed those quick change the underwear um I'm heating up my food because you've got to get your protein in after lifting within an hour within an hour otherwise you're not going to get those benefits from all of that and you're not going to build that muscle it's actually going to not it's going to be reverse so heating up my food about to eat that I do recommend eating your protein instead of just drinking it i am looking for a new protein to drink because with my lifestyle even though i meal prep i don't always have time so sometimes a protein shake is good but eating your protein is the best way to get it straight to your muscles next if you need like a snack i'm like one thing that's helped me cut down a jack so this stomach is getting way smaller one thing that has helped me really cut down is um certain snacks that i'll eat and like i said nothing in this video today is an ad it's all real. I eat Quest bars. I really like the Oreo, the blueberries. So like if I need a snack, I'll do this. Or if I'm, I'm running around, you know how crazy life is in LA, um, multiple shoots in one day, or I'm working out and I just can't make it home in time, this is a perfect way to get that protein in. Um, I also do different type of like turkey sticks and different stuff like that. But yeah, you guys, now let me show you what I'm eating. Ooh, ooh. Yes, we've got the, let me just show y'all. So, this plate is a little bit full, so don't judge me. I didn't mean to fill it up this much with this much rice. So I won't eat all the rice, probably like that much of it. But ground turkey, asparagus, y'all know I love it. Quinoa rice um, mix with garlic. That's my favorite. I don't be getting sick of it. I truly honestly don't. Some people are like, you look like you're eating the same thing all the time. I am, but I like it. It is what it is. Learn how to make a healthy food that you like. Last but not least, you guys saw me in the gym do my stretching. So to keep this up every day, you got to be able to take care of your body and get ahead of recovery time. So another thing I'm going to do, you guys, after stretching, you saw me stretch before I got into it, so I didn't pull nothing. And then after to make sure that my muscles recover correctly, really focusing on whatever I worked that day. I'm also, I did legs. I'm going to have this on my knee while I write tonight. Um, this on the other knee. I got stuff for the neck, like icing it. Just take care of your recovery. I also do the sauna a lot. I may go do some more cardio tonight and hit that sauna. I'm not sure, depending on how much writing I get done for this comedy stuff for you guys. So stay tuned, you guys. Um, drop below. What do you guys do to help with your recovery? Also drinking water. Y'all saw that. In that workout, I drink like four waters, okay? Literally, every 20 minutes I was going through water. I live for an hour and a half. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment below what protein, if you guys are drinking one, which one are you guys drinking? Um, I'm trying to find a new one that I really like. You know what I mean? So comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.